I don't think for one second when we were kids I thought about it, you know, it was so normal, so obvious that we are friends from the Maccabi Haifa, from the club, and you know, I played in uh, Achi Nazareth, it's a, it's a you know, Arab team, and uh, you can see Bnei Sakhnin, that a lot, a lot of Jewish players playing there and feel uh, like, uh, you know, uh, welcomed, and, and I think that football is a good example. After, when you grow up, and you start to see and to be affecting about uh, the TV and stuff like that, people start to think different, I think. Let's say that uh, more or less in the same age we we joined the club, and uh, because I'm one year older than uh, Beram, so old man, yeah, I'm older. <laughs> I'm old. He's young. When we're playing together as well in the first team or in the national team, we still uh, have uh, this memory when we was how we were growing up because we was playing in the same, nearly the same position. I was playing behind the striker and the connection getting uh, strong between us. Obviously, I respect his religion, he respects my religion. Uh, I remember uh, one time uh, me and Tomer were sharing the room and I was praying and he was uh, praying in the other side and I take the phone and I want to take the picture and he was laughing. But we never thought like because he's Jewish or me Arabic is going to affect our relationship like a friend, never. But of course, we will not feel good when something happened and uh, we saw it in the TV and the terror attacks happen, we cannot do nothing about it, but we can show that, like kids, we never have reason, you know, not to share our life together or to feel like uh, not comfortable with uh, someone else because it's religion or it's, uh, I don't know what, you know. Like kids, we enjoy, we play together. And when is uh, something, uh, uh, let's say, not nice to watch for the kids or for the people outside, this is why they're showing now. Uh, sometimes things happen. I don't think that you can find it every week in the, the in the Premier League or in any league, but sometimes when it's happened, obviously it's make a big noise and no one want to, no one like it. Sometimes they show the wrong things in the news, you know. There's a lot of uh, good and uh, positive picture. They can take it and sometimes nobody see it. Obviously, if you're looking the ex good example, me and Tomer grew up together, the best friend here in Brighton. We're enjoying to share our life and to show like the people outside. There's no other problem, there's no issue there. How the best uh, solution between Arabic and Jewish can, can be together as well here in Brighton, not just back home. If we can to do something, is in football, maybe to do something for the country. Me and Biram now, you know, in our age, we're getting old. We need to, <laughs> maybe we'll take Israel to a big tournament in the future for the birthday.